Going to get to the Bill Squire Friday get down momentarily. We got the weekend going around these parts and then out into the frigid, freezing night. Whatever's going on out there. I don't even know if it's still snowing. All of the traffic reports we've had all afternoon have made it sound like it's an utter nightmare out there, but I don't know if, you know, a lot of times those things are kind of hyperbolic because they want people to slow down. Slow down. And it's funny because people can get so, con- not conspiratorial, but people are like, um, they always got to make the weather sound so bad, and it's really not. I'm like, well, it's you know, th- there's no upside to being underprepared. And undercautious. Think about me. You get the thing, place a little slower, but you'll get there without crashing. Yeah. Well, and you can't, um, because <clears throat> it's a high Wait. St- <laughs> stress situation uh-huh. that people complain if somebody's going too slow. Or if they don't have their <laughs> there was a video hazards that, on or whatever. Someone someone shared a video with me the other day of someone like, man, these roads aren't even bad. I don't know why people are driving so slow. And then they like try to pass the person and they start fishtailing and spinning around. And they go, oh, that humbled me. I am stupid. I need right. to uh, drive slower. It's it's actually pretty bad out. Do you have a dash cam in your car? No. I'm thinking of getting a dash cam. A dot com. I'm sorry? It's pronounced dot com. <laughs> I have a, a dot cam. A dot cam? Yeah, it's a different kind of Morse code. Ah. I got it. No, I, 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 would, I should probably get one. I think it's a good well, thing Well, because to have. people are like, oh, if somebody hits you, you have evidence of mm-hmm. whatever. And, you know, I mean, um, I don't know. I mean, everybody has rear cameras now. Yeah, but those don't record all the time. And I've got one time. in my car. Hey. hey but those don't record all the time. So No, mine doesn't record at all. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just you so see. If you, you know. But if you have a dash cam, then you can. Yup. Have that evidence. Mm-hmm. And I like evidence. Big fan of it, too. I like the, you know, Mary likes videos of people slipping on the ice and falling. It's the best. Did you see the one where the guy holding the baby slips on the ice? And oh. then it was a fr- it was a down power wire, and then he dies. And then his pregnant girlfriend tries to save him, and she dies, too. That's and then real. It's not on video, but did you see that story? No. That's, so that's not I, the fun videos that she likes. <laughs> no, I know. I was just, I, before I get into this, what I was actually leading into is you like those videos of people slipping. I love the videos from overseas where people pretend that they got hit by the car. They run oh, out yeah. in front of the car and then roll onto their hood. Oh, you hit my leg. You know, these countries where people are looking to get some quick payout from somebody. I, I got one. Mary, I sent you a fun one. Okay. No, they're trying to figure out what exactly happened. This teenage girl... In Houston, no, I'm sorry, Portland, Oregon. They got a ton of snow and ice. And this teenage girl happened to be looking out, 18 years old. Her name is Maya Washington, and she happened to be looking out her front window when she saw this family. They had a huge ice storm in Portland. And she looks out, and there's a red SUV with a downed power line on it. And this couple that had been putting their baby in the car, like a nine-month-old. And the the mom is screaming to the boyfriend to get the baby. He grabs the kid and tries to go up the driveway. But it was so slippery, he slips, falls back, foot touches the live wire, and he is electrocuted. The baby, I guess, so then the mom, who's pregnant, 21 and pregnant, tries to go out and help. She slips. She gets electrocuted. So then her 15-year-old brother comes out, tries to help, slips, electrocuted. So the only person left is the baby, and this girl looking out her goes out there and tries to save this baby, and she does. And... The fire and the rescue, they go, we have no idea how this girl and this baby weren't also killed. There's a live wire that she's, it's a wild story. That's That's insane. It's sad. It's very sad. It's tragic. In the span of, you know, God knows what. Because you think that you would reflexively. Great story to end the show on. (laughs) Well, I kind of, I kind of fell into it. I I didn't plan on. uh, Oh, what a, my I brain can't went wait for this get down. <laughs> <laughs> my brain went from Mary likes those videos where people slip to Hey, did you hear about the one where the whole family died? Um, yeah, that's wild. 
So I don't know. Uh, I don't know how. They don't know. They go. We don't know how this girl and uh, the baby are still alive. So yeah, they were like she uh, before the teenage kid went down there. She's like, don't go near there. Don't touch whatever. Um, and uh, he went down and and tried to help. Yeah, that's weird because um, this is where knowing a little bit about science helps because if someone that you love is in trouble, you would reflexively try to go help them. Maybe not Pancake, but, you know, the uh, the uh, you'd reflexively try to help them, but you can't go touching somebody who's got a live wire on them. Yeah, that's tag science. That's That goes way back. That's electricity. <laughs> yeah, that is tag science. Yeah, remember tag? On, yeah, if you're on home base and then you can do electricity so you can – Get out. What do you guys play that? Like when we do get togethers as kids, all the kids would go in the basement and we play tag and you just run around like maniacs and then you say like stairs or base and then you like reach out and uh, you can do electricity no, to save somebody. I didn't know that was the thing. I thought it was one, two, three, base stuck all over me and then you could do whatever you wanted. What? What? That's like where you can. You what stuck all over me? One, two, three, base, base stuck you. all over me. Yeah. Like, wow. Base right. stuck all over me? Once yeah. you stuck. No, you had to be, for us, you had to be touching the base, but you could. Make a uh, chain of people. Yeah, make a chain of people. To grab someone else. We'd say anything's base, but that's. <clears throat> well, not... Oh, I don't ever remember him, like, making a chain of people. Yeah. I mean. Huh. Like, if you were touching the base, then anybody that you touched was also touching the base. Yeah. It's called the transitive property, guys. Get it together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm talking about that's how a I learned science. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that would. I mean, I can't. Um, I didn't have enough friends to make a chain. And you'd have cousins to play with and stuff. And so. Didn't have cousins to play with. You didn't have kids in the neighborhood that would just like play. No. Or were they just not including you? They weren't including me. Oh. It's okay. Poor Alan, poor Alan, poor Alan. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were always people moving in and out of the neighborhood, and they were like, if they were older kids, that was no fun because they were just looking for smaller kids to beat up on. And then, like, um, you know, in the summertime, if I had a, a couple of friends, everybody else went to summer camp for two weeks. So just me and my brother hanging out because we didn't go to summer camp. So we were kind of waiting for everybody to come back from camp. But it would have been nice to form a chain with my friends. A precursor to Hands Across America. But it wasn't to be. So that's why I didn't know what you guys were talking about. But uh, now it makes sense. Base. Okay. Well, anyway, these people all got electrocuted. And, uh, they're all dead now, so... Yeah, they're all dead now. And uh, Mary likes those videos where people slip on the ice. I fell down the stairs at my friend's apartment the other day, and um, I just... my It was one of those where, like, I missed a step, and then when I, like... So my stride was much longer than I anticipated it to be because I missed a step, and then my foot twisted, so I missed a step and landed on my ankle, and I went down so friggin' hard, dude. I had my backpack on. I was carrying stuff in my hands. And I turned around and I saw a ring doorbell camera and I immediately texted my friend. I was like, dude, does that ring doorbell work? Because I just friggin' ate it. And if it does, I need to see that footage. And she was <laughs> like, no, the the people before us left it there. It doesn't actually work. I was like, wow, what a bummer. Now oh, I fell, sucks. twisted my ankle, and no one gets to laugh at me. It's the worst. There, there's no upside to that. No upside. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. That's okay. All right, well, um, maybe we'll do adult tag at some point. We'll do show tag. You know where I was looking for new things to do with the audience? Oh, yeah? We'll do show tag. That, uh, no. <laughs> you don't want to do that? Not where really. anything is base? Yeah. Base. <laughs> okay. What was it? One, two, three, everything's... Base all over me. Base all over me? Base. Anything is base. Yeah, when after you touch base and like it's so people can't try and tag or try and get you. Yeah, no, you I understand base. it. I just didn't. Uh, it was so fun playing those games because the rules would just constantly be changing to keep whoever you wanted to be it. It 
like it was really just a form of light bullying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a bit. And usually it was my brother Rob that they'd be like, yeah, Rob's it, so we're going to keep Rob it and keep changing the rules so that he can't tag anybody. Alan, I felt a little like pound cake because I was shoveling my driveway and listening to the show. You guys were talking about hotels, and I always thought that they were called Chester drawers. We've talked about that before, haven't yeah. we? Chest of drawers. Felt a little like pound cake. Blew my mind. Well, now you know. Now you know. You know, it, it's certainly not the intent of this dumb show, but sometimes you can glean a little bit of useful information here and there. You can walk away with a couple of extra uh, neurons firing. Alan, I'm a claims adjuster. You, I highly suggest dash cams. You wouldn't believe how many people take responsibility after an accident, and they seem like decent human beings, but they will lie as soon as they talk to their insurance company and say, you hit them. Yeah, that's why they sell so many of these things. And if somebody does happen to walk out in mm -hmm. front of me while I'm at a red light and then, and hop then on the th <laughs> throw themselves against my car, I've got uh, video uh, evidence. Hmm. Hey, Bill. Yeah. You want to start the weekend? Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> The Bill Squire Friday Get Down is brought to you by Chester Drawers. Next time you're going to buy drawers, <laughs> buy Chester Drawers. That's how we get the weekend started around here. Take it away, William. It's Friday! I got to get down on Friday. It's been snowing and blowing, so be careful on those roads. Hopefully, Plank Jackson plowed your street. If not, be even more careful. Snow plower, snow plower, snow plower. It's Friday! Mm. Plank Jackson. Yeah, a little callback. Yeah, there you go. Callback to Pound Cake's clever name for a snow plow. <laughs> I think that's a missed opportunity on the part of ODOT. There should have absolutely been. Plank Jackson. Well, anyway, there's your Bill Squire Friday get down in honor of the late, great Murray Saul here at WMMS. Uh, start your weekend. You have our collective permission. Let's take a break here, and uh, Mary's got to go. I got to go change my clothes. She's got to <laughs> she clean herself up. All right. All right, later. Uh, we'll take a break here. If you want to get the last word in, uh, shoot me a text, 351 Nine two, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app. Or whatever smart device you have. Just tell it to play the Alan Cox Show on iHeartRadio. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending for